This is the PAJ7620 gesture recognition module. Now you will find a lot of similar modules in the market. What I have here is a violet color generic one, but they all work the same. To understand how to use this sensor, let's start with the pinout. Okay, so as you can see the sensor has 5 pins, the VCC and ground is used to power the sensor module, SEL and SDA are used for I2C communication. So this table over here shows the maximum operating voltage which is up to 6 volt, typically we will use 5 volt and the maximum current the sensor can consume is up to 800 milliamps. Another important thing you should note is that the gesture detection range is a maximum of 15 centimeters. Now, if you take a look at the sensor module, you will notice the main component over here, which is the sensor itself. So you can see that this sensor is called a PAJ7620, which is why the IC is called so. And there are few other components on the module, all of which are auxiliary. These things these things are the pull-up resistor. We have two voltage regulator. One is the main power voltage regulation IC and the other one is to regulate the power for the LEDs. Okay, so this is our testing setup over here. You can see the sensor module. I have also interfaced an LCD display through an I2C module so that we can visualize the data on our LCD screen over here. Now, if I do a swipe right, you can see that the sensor has detected the right swipe. And if I do a left swipe, you can see it's detecting left swipe. Apart from that, the sensor can also detect clockwise direction. Like you can see here and also anti-clockwise direction as you can see here. Now let's quickly jump on to our laptop and look at the code for this project. So this is the complete code that we have used for the demo. We have used three libraries. The first one is the DF robot library for our sensor module. If you don't know where to find this library, you can check out the link in the description. We have explained how to install this in your Arduino IDE. Apart from that, we have the wire.h for I2C communication and the liquid crystal I2C header file to communicate with our LCD display. Then we have some custom characters being defined to display on our LCD screen. You don't have to worry about that. Then we are using this library to create an object called PAJ. Using this, we will communicate with our sensor module. We will begin communicating with our sensor module and initialize everything and once that is done everything is literally taken care of by the library over here as you can see we will just read the gesture using this code and this will return two variables one is the gesture and the other is the description so the gesture is a numeric value which is kind of a code to indicate what is being detected and in the description you can see if it was none right left up down all those things so based on this code we have created a switch case for example if the gesture value is equal to 1 then it means right if it is 2 then it means left similarly for each code we have written what is the motion being detected so that's it it's very simple you can use the sensor module easily with any of your projects and the code is pretty much straightforward so that's it for this video hope you enjoyed learning something useful if yes do consider subscribing to this channel and i will see you in next one tata bye bye